Was there a moment when you kn- knew or, or realized, wow, like copy blogger and this strategy that I'm building, and was it even a strategy or was it when you started copy blogger, was it more of just like, let me, let me try things out? Did you expect it? You didn't expect it to have the massive success that it had, but what was the moment when you realized like, oh, wow, I'm onto something here. I'm, I'm doing the right thing. It's interesting because uh, reflecting back on the very beginning, 15 years ago, the first three months, man, they were crickets. I just, mm-hmm. I didn't get traction. It's interesting because I knew what I was talking about because I'd been doing it for seven years, but no one else knew that I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> um, and, and I had to, you know, have that moment where I break through and eventually that happened. And it was, it was kind of interesting because some of the stuff I said, you got to remember this is a totally different time. Um, went against what bloggers believed. It was very wow. idealistic at that time. Uh, it wasn't about sell- selling was a dirty word. And then here I come and say, you know, you shouldn't be trying to sell advertising for your blog. You should sell, you know, products and services. And half the bloggers said, oh, that's interesting. The other half said I was the devil, but they linked to me. And <laughs> their audience goes, I like what this guy is saying. And that's what happened. It took off like a rocket, right? So on one hand, I, I, I didn't expect the degree, but I, I, I understood that people would be interested in what I had to say if I could get in front of them. And then that was kind of the catalyst. Half of it was positive and half of it was negative, but it all worked. Um, but coming into starting copy blogger, no, no lie. I said, I'm just going to build an audience and I'm going to figure out what they want to buy. And that's the other big part of my, my philosophy, which is the audience will reveal, not tell you exactly, but they'll reveal what they want to buy. And, uh, you know, I, I took all of 2006 and half of 2007 to figure that out. But then when we did launch our first product, it was zero to six figures in a week and seven figures in a year. And I was like, okay, this is how it's <laughs> supposed to go. But, but did I expect that level of success? No. Um, but then in 2008, uh, another launch, another company, another, this, this one was bigger, actually. We went from Initially, we we're doing about ten thousand a month, uh, and we started selling ten thousand dollars a day. And this was in the WordPress market. And then in two thousand nine, we launched our first SaaS, and it happened again. And I'm just like, okay, this is getting nuts. And this is the point where, when we were talking earlier about checking my ego, I was feeling pretty good <laughs> at that point. Um, and and you know. But I, I tried to stay grounded. Uh, then, of course, we went on to, to start Copy Blogger Media, and that's the one that hit eight figures. So um, it's a wild ride. What, I'm writing a, you know, a book now for the first time, and I'm sitting there writing the chronology of what happened, and I just felt compelled to write. That doesn't sound very believable, does it? <laughs> but it all happened. <laughs> you know. So I guess I, my own authenticity says wow that that's kind of incredible in the in the truest sense not credible but it did happen and it's Mm. happened the the beautiful thing i think is so many other people have had similar uh, stories and experiences and a lot of those people uh, were early copy blogger readers or they wrote for copy blogger so uh, i think the thing i'm proudest of is not the money it's all the people who make more money than I do, <laughs> who got started. You know, I mean, I love it. I really do. It's amazing. Um, I remember before Atomic Habits came out, uh, I read James Clear's site. A lot of people did, obviously. Loved it. You know, just great stuff. And then somehow I ran across him on Twitter and he followed me. And I'm like, oh, wow, James Clear follows me. How cool. So I follow him back at that point. And he DMs me and he's like, Hey, Brian, thanks, man. I got my start with copy blogger. And I'm just like, are you kidding me right now? You know, like <laughs> you can be a fan of someone who, who got started with you and you don't even realize it. And then you email me and you're like, Hey, uh, you know, I got my start <laughs> with copy blogger when I was 13. I'm like, nah, this is good. This is that's the best <laughs> podcast interview request uh, I've had in a long time. 